A question I'm often asked is can you build a closed terrarium without springtails? And the short answer to that in my experience is yes. I have always maintained that springtails are not absolutely essential for closed terrariums, but they are good to have. Over the years I have built several terrariums which do not house springtails and they are all doing extremely well. On the contrary, I have a few terrariums that in spite of having springtails had severe mold issues. There is much discussion on the web on whether springtails really help in mold control. It is scientifically known that springtails commonly consume fungal hyphae and spores as well as decaying plant or animal remains. They can be useful in preventing mold blooms. However, in my experience, they can be quite ineffective in the event of a severe mold outbreak. In fact, such a situation can end up killing and eradicating the entire existing springtails colony in a closed ecosystem. Today I can say with enough confidence that you can build successful terrariums without an active springtails colony. However, there are some steps that need to be taken to ensure that fungal spores are not accidentally introduced into the newly built setup. Here are some of the steps I strongly recommend. Clean the container thoroughly with dishwashing soap and water. Wash the false bottom gravel in boiling water. Bake the terrarium substrate at 80 to 90 degrees centigrade in an oven to eliminate presence of any fungal spores. Boil any driftwood before using in the build. If possible, avoid wood altogether and stick to stones and rocks, as wood is more prone to fungal development. Use tissue culture plants as much as possible. In case of greenhouse plants, it would be a good idea to quarantine them in closed boxes for a couple of weeks before using them in the terrarium. Wash and clean moss thoroughly in distilled or reverse osmosis water. And make sure to squeeze them to remove any excess water before using in the terrarium. Ensure the terrarium is never overwatered, just enough to moisten the substrate. I believe that if you follow these simple steps, you may be able to avoid fungal problems in your terrariums. Do not worry in case of a small mold outbreak. They usually disappear on their own as the terrarium ecosystem stabilizes and gets established. The presence of good bacteria within the terrarium ecosystem will keep it bioactive and help it thrive for many years with little care and some maintenance.